there. I have to say, you were easier to capture than I anticipated. Ah, shocked beyond words, I see. Oh, uh, oh, how sweet it is to see the usually arrogant, confident, and intelligent Canadians tied up to a wall. This is proof that intelligence does not translate to wisdom, because if you are wise, you would not have been captured by a baby. Now you're probably wondering, how did Baby Flames know about my lab? How did Baby Flames get into my lab? How did Baby Flames somehow manage to tie me up in my own lab? Well, the answer to that is simple, Canadians. I was raised here by you. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't remember me. Maybe this will jog your memory. No. It can't be. Yes, it is I, your first creation, Nigel. <laughs> Funny how old demons can come back to haunt you, huh? And yes, with the knowledge you gave me, I managed to make an invention that allows me to shapeshift. I can turn back into baby flames whenever I want. After the disappointing ending of Paper NHL Battle, I had to come up with a new plan for world domination. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, that's what I want. And you, Canadians. You are the only one that I know could have stopped my brand new plan. Because let's face it, with you taken care of, who could possibly get in my way? Maple Leafs. Ah, good morning, ducks. Hey, thanks again for throwing this party, man. It's gonna be awesome. But I just don't know why you had to have it in such a faraway location. Oh, that's simple, ducks. I chose a venue that was really far away so that we wouldn't get any noise complaints when we're partying all night. Oh, okay. And plus, we get to bond on the bus ride there. Is anyone else awake yet? No, I, I was the first one awake. Oh, okay. Well, the bus gets here at 10. So, we're gonna head down to that place. You know, we're gonna unwind, totally just let loose for a night of fun. And then... And then... That's it. Yeah, I guess you're flying back to Anaheim? Yeah, it was fun competing with you. Thanks, you too. And you know this is going to be a great opportunity for everyone to say their goodbyes. Yeah, yeah it is. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Hey guys, I got a new body! I don't recall asking. Kings, it literally looks the same as your old body. What? No it doesn't. Uh, yeah, it really does, Kings. No, it's not the same. Look, there's an extra silver stripe around the outside. That's such an insignificant change, what's the point of making it? Yeah, Rangers has a point, what's the point of making such an insignificant change? Uh, shut up, you guys are just jealous! Sure we are! Congrats once again on winning, Leafs! Thanks, GoPro. As promised, your one billion dollars will be delivered to you when you get to the venue where you're hosting your party. All right, thank you so much. Like, really, thank you for hosting. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoy your party. 
I have to uh, finish up some packing before I head out on my relaxing vacation. So, uh, yeah, guess I'll see you. Alright guys, the bus is here, so I'm gonna do attendance. And if you're not here, well, you're getting left behind. Okay, ducks? Here. Coyotes? Here. Bruins? Yeah! Sabres? Uh, I'm here. Flames? Yeah, I'm here. Baby Flames? Baby Flames? I'm pretty sure he slept in. Well, his loss. Hurricanes? Here. Blackhawks? Yeah. Avalanche? Here. Blue Jackets? Present. Stars? Here. Red Wings? Red Wings is here, he just can't talk. Right, thanks Oilers, I'll mark you here as well. Panthers? Here! Kings? Yeah! Wild? Right here. Canadians? Uh, nobody's seen him in days. Huh, that's weird. And I guess I might as well mark you as present predators. Devils? Here. Islanders? I guess he slept in too. Rangers? Yep. Senators? Here. Flyers? Here. Penguins? Here. Sharks? Here. Blues? Here. Lightning? Here. Canucks? Yeah. Golden Knights can't talk, but I already saw him, so yeah, I'll mark him down. Capitals? A. Jets? And it looks like Jets slept in too. Alright, that's everyone. Time to hit the road. Life is a highway, I want to ride it all night long. If you're going my way, I want to drive it all night long. Shut the hell up, Blues! No one wants to hear your god-awful singing! So, what do you have planned now, now that PNHLB is over? Honestly, I haven't really thought about it that much. You know, I've never really had big dreams. People have always told me to reach for the sky, but honestly, I don't feel I need to. I think I'm just gonna settle in and live by myself. Maybe get a job in marketing? Well, alright, as long as you plan to visit me every once in a while. Hey, you should be visiting me, you're the one who can fly. Ha, huh, true. Sup, ladies. Go away, penguins. Okay. No, 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 no! Ah, I can't believe I slept in on the day of the party! God, how could you be so stupid? Ah, I've been looking forward to this for weeks! Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. Oh no, I slept in! Yeah, you're not alone. We missed the bus. Oh man, that sucks. Wait a minute, Jets, you can fly! Why don't you fly me there? Come on, let's go! I can't just fly to a place that I don't even know the location of. Oh yeah, good point. Oh, hey guys. Yeah, you missed the bus. Yeah, we know. Well, uh, that sucks. Sounds like that party was going to be pretty fun. Wait, wait, GoPro, can you take us there? Uh, darn guys. You no, know, I'd love to, but I have to leave for my vacation. Come on, you're taking a private jet. Can it wait? Alright, guys, really, I've been looking forward to this for weeks, okay? Well, so have we. Yeah, but... But... Wait, wait, someone's coming. Alright, so where am I gonna find me one of those... Um, I mean... Uh, hey guys, how's it going? Baby Flames? Did you just talk normal? Uh, no I didn't. What are you talking about? We heard you, Baby Flames. Ah, uh, fine, yes. This is how I sound. Whoa, did you hit puberty or something? Whoa, whoa, what is that bright light?
What? Am I... Am I in the future? Wait, is that me? Uh, what's going on here? Wait a second, Islanders. Did you time travel here? Yeah, and... Wait, Baby Flames? You're talking normal. Wait, what's going on? Oh, uh, nothing. nothing's going on. There, that should wipe his memory. I can't let him know about my plan. Oh my gosh. Baby Flames, you just knocked out me from the pat. Oh my gosh, I, I remember everything now. <sighs> Be quiet, you. Anyway, I'm gonna send your past self back to where he came from. And hopefully, by knocking him out, I will have wiped his memory. I can't let him ruin my plan. Uh, what plan? My plan to, um, uh, surprise Leafs at his party, yeah. I, I was gonna give him a gift. Oh, how thoughtful of you. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, GoPro, why don't you head off on your, on your vacation? You, you, you've earned it, buddy. Oh, thank you, Baby Flames. I think I will. Uh... See you around, and uh, good luck with that time travel thing. All right. Well, in order to not mess up the time-space continuum, I'm going to have to send past Islanders here back to the past before he wakes up. But wait, the only person who has a time machine is Canadians. Oh, so you've been in his lab too, huh? Yeah, I've, I've been his assistant there. Oh, well, why don't you follow me back and, uh, you know, make sure your past self doesn't get harmed. Uh, you know what, sure. Jets, why don't you come with? Uh, okay. But seriously, though, Baby Flames, what happened to your voice? It's, it's deep. Just come with me and I'll answer all of your questions. Okay, if you say so. Essent this pouty imagine, Sabers? N not really. I'm starting to get uncomfortable. Well, you just have to loosen up. Here, have a Heineken. A, a Heineken? Is that beer? Yes, it's my favorite beer. I believe it comes from the Netherlands. Uh, are you from the Netherlands? No, silly. I'm from Columbus. Oh, well, I've never had alcohol before. Seriously? Sabers, you seriously need to broaden your horizons. What? What does that mean? It means that soon life is going to pass you by and you'll have realized that you've done nothing fun. You can't live your life being scared of everything anymore, Sabers. You need to live a little. Now have some of my Heineken. Okay. I gotta hand it to you, Leafs. This party's actually pretty fun. Everyone's having a great time. Thanks. It was the least I can do. After all, everyone's been suffering in the wooden chamber for so long. Yeah, that's true. Anyways, I have a question for you. Ask away. Why are you sometimes blue and sometimes white? What do you mean? Like, earlier you were blue. Oh yeah, that. Um, you're the first person to actually ask me about that. Well, the truth is, I just change whenever I feel like it. Oh, that's kinda cool, I guess. Wait, so Canadians actually has an underground laboratory? Yep, this is it. So who else knows about this place? Just me, as well as the people who are on Team Common Sense. So Hurricanes, Predators, and Golden Knights. So wait, how did you find out about this place? Well, I literally just wandered in one day. Yeah, that's it, I, I just wandered through the front door. It was unlocked, I didn't know where it led. And when I came in... Canadians was working on a time machine, and he offered to let me help him with it in exchange for my silence. 
and that explains why that other version of me came from the past. Whoa, that's so cool. But wait, how does Baby Flames know about this place? I don't know. Alright guys, I just finished sending past islanders back to the past, so hopefully no nasty wormholes will open up. Oh, okay. Wait, is that? Guys, help! Baby Flames is evil! Also, I'm surprised you didn't notice me when you walked in the room. Baby Flames? Why is Canadians tied up? I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to join him on that wall before I answer any more of your questions. You know, I missed you all that time you were in the wooden chamber. Me too, Hurricanes. You were all I could think about. Now how about you turn off that light so we can get rated R? No, what if someone walks in? Nobody's gonna walk in, they're all too busy playing beer pong or whatever. Well, it's... well... I mean... Look, can we just lie here for a while? Hurricanes, is everything okay? You've been acting kind of weird lately. Well... I have something I need to get off my chest. What is it? Do you remember back in episode 22 when I told you that recovery centers can only bring us back a finite amount of times? Yeah? Well... I'm sorry, but I lied. We'll always be able to be brought back by recovery centers. Well, then why would you tell me we can't? Because I wanted you to think that our time together was finite so that you would appreciate me more. Wait, what? You think I didn't appreciate you? Well, I know that sounds bad, but... And instead of talking to me about that, you went and lied to me? Look, I didn't mean to... Save it, Hurricanes. I'm leaving. No, Predators, wait! So, let me get this straight. Your real name isn't Baby Flames. Rather, your real name is Nigel. You were Canadians' first invention, and you are a shape-shifting gray circle? You are correct, Islanders. Canadians originally built me because I was supposed to be his personal assistant. I'm an organic life form with artificial intelligence. Speaking of intelligence, Canadians wanted there to be someone as smart as him, so he gave me pretty much identical qualities in the IQ department. Somewhere down the road, Canadians suddenly decided that he didn't need me anymore. He kicked me to the curb, thinking I'd rot away. Out of sight, out of mind, right? I was furious. I was the brains behind some of Canadians' best inventions, and he was throwing me away like I was some trash. I thought that the best way to get back at him was by one-upping him. So, I began drawing up a plan for world domination. The only problem was I was short on funding. I needed money to buy a crystal that would allow me to change my size. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You can change your shape, but not your size? I know, that's what I thought. Anyways, I needed a way for me to change my size so that I could take over the world and I needed a lot of money to buy a crystal which would allow me to change my size. That's when I found out about Paper NHL Battle. When I discovered GoPro was giving away one billion dollars, I knew it was my chance. I knew my only hope of winning was if I went under the wing of someone who would be going into the show. Flames just seemed like an easy target. So, a couple weeks before Paper NHL Battle started, I shapeshifted into a baby version of Flames showed up at Scotiabank Saddle Dome, and announced to Flames that he was my dad. And the rest, as they say, is history. I hate you so much. The feeling's mutual. Good news, guys. The truck that's delivering my money's almost here. Hold on, Leafs. You mean to tell me that you're getting your money delivered in cash in a truck? Yep. Leafs, no offense, but that's dangerously irresponsible. What if the truck crashes or the money gets stolen? Oh, come on, Flames, that's not gonna happen. Well, I'm just saying, if it was me, I would've arranged for that money to get transferred to a bank account or something. Getting your money delivered in a truck is dumb, and I would never do something that dumb. Flames was pretty dumb for actually taking me in, but I am thankful for his poor decision. Now, do you see this button I'm holding? Oh god, are you gonna kill us? What? No, why would I do that? You know recovery centers exist, right? No, no, no. Two things will happen when I press this button. One, GoPro's private jet will be shot out of the sky. And two, the bomb I rigged up to the truck that's delivering Leafs' money will blow up. Which means I'll be in the clear to take that money for myself. 
You know, your reason for doing this is extremely petty. Hey, don't blame me. Canadians built me to be just like him. Clearly I failed because you are nothing like me. Even when you're tied up to a wall, your ego is still intact. But wait, Nigel, what's the point of killing GoPro? He didn't do anything. Eh, I just never liked him. And since he's not an object or a sports team logo, he isn't able to be brought back by a recovery center, so he'll stay permanently dead. The world needs fewer greedy billionaires anyway. Finally, my last delivery before retirement. Guys, the truck is here! <sighs> this is the life. Baby Flames, please don't do this. I'm not Baby Flames, you idiot. I am Nigel. But think of the times. Think of all the challenges we won. We were unstoppable. We were friends. I was never your friend. Oh god! <laughs> A party went wrong last night at a cabin outside of Victoria. A large group of friends were having a festive evening until a truck arrived carrying $1 billion for the Maple Leafs, the recent winner of the paper NHL battle. Shortly after, the truck exploded sending a huge fireball towards the cabin. Everyone at the scene had varying levels of injuries, but at this time it seems like the only fatality was the driver of the truck. It was revealed this morning that the $1 billion that were inside the truck was missing, presumably stolen. We will update you as the story develops. One thing's for sure, this has to be a huge blow for the Maple Leafs.